both of you on the performances and beautiful creatures. Oh, Thank you. Thanks. And especially you, Hansel and Gretel, witch hunters. I wanted to ask, what sort of draws you to these roles witch and fantasy genres? Witch movies are kind of my thing now. He only does know. those, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I, um, yeah, it was just kind of, I actually did shot Hansel and Gretel a long, long time ago. Or not a long time ago, but well before Beautiful Creatures was ever in the picture. So um, it's just kind of a coincidence that they're coming out at the same time. But yeah, it's, it's great. It's very exciting. That is kind of spooky. Yeah. And I also wanted to talk to you about Emily. Your character is really faith-filled, but not necessarily good. Mm -hmm. And you kind of see that theme throughout the movie about good versus evil. Uh, what do you think the message is that Beautiful Creatures kind of brings? One of the things I took away from it is that I just kind of had this very visceral reaction to people have this, in my opinion, people have a conscious decision to make whether they want to put love or hate out into the universe, whether they want to be light or dark. Um, and in this movie, it kind of talks about destiny, whether you control it or whether it's, you know, predetermined. Um, and it just made me think a lot about the balance between the two and, um, yeah, it just got me thinking. And any movie that gets you thinking about things like that is cool, you know? I mean, Definitely. Yeah. And there are so many great themes in this one. Yeah, there are a yeah, lot of different definitely. themes. And in, because of that, I feel like there's going to be people, so many people are going to take so many different things away from it, you know? Um, different things will resonate with different people. So, And you kind of had the harder job because you had to get seduced by the siren, mm -hmm. Ridley. <laughs> Had to make out with uh, strange and beautiful women <laughs> yeah. in alleyways. How yeah. was that experience? It and was it was magical and wonderful and um, and just as down and dirty as as oh it god. looks on the screen. Oh my god! <laughs> um, I regret that, you know. Saying <laughs> no, I I mean Emmy is great. She's really easy to work with, and she's just um, very daring. And 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 Richard kept wanting us to take it further with those scenes, and so we had a lot of fun with it. And after a while, it's like you don't even think about it. You're just like, all right, here we go again. Jump back into it. But, um, Another day at the yeah. office. <laughs> a lot of fun. At the office. Mm -hmm. um, also, because this series is based on the novel, it already has a really strong fan following. Did either of you feel pressured to kind of bring an accuracy to your characters? I feel like what other people think about me is none of my business, but what other people about the think about the character is kind of, I guess, a daunting idea. Um, I, I think I didn't really honestly acknowledge, I didn't think about it. I read the books, so I knew what they wanted. And all I can say is I'm very glad I dyed my hair because they really care about hair color. <laughs> they really, really care about hair color. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's yeah. It's hard to. Um, I mean, it's hard enough to kind of build the character and and um, and kind of develop that. And so I, I think you kind of don't really think about that when you when we were in the process. At least, like I wasn't even really that aware of the following, or at least I didn't think about it during the process. Uh, so yeah. So it was just like talking to Richard and and doing rehearsals with Alden to kind of form our version of these characters, which are still true to the book, but. Just because we have to consolidate, there's some things that you can't really go into. The record companies is lazy, right? So it ain't no infatuation. They lazy and they don't want to work, so they chasing whatever, whoever putting in work. You know what I'm saying? Like, they out here looking at whatever artist got their own thing going on on YouTube.